This lesson focuses on taking data from a linear model and then plotting it, getting a general idea of how that data changes over time, and then using the information to make an educated guess or an extrapolation about information that's not directly on that table. So what we have here in example B is the winning times for the women's 100 meter race over the years starting in 1922 and going to 1988 and we need to estimate the winning time in the year 2010 and then we're going to take a look at that estimate and see if it seems reasonable. So first of all we can see here here's all of our different points um, and if we graph this on a on a scatter plot using time as our y and year as our x then it would look a little like this here's all those points plotted on a graph. What we'll do is take our last two points, our most recent two, so this would be uh, year 1982 which is 10.9 and 1988 which is 10.5 and we're going to make those two into a line and then we'll find the equation of that line so that we can use that data to extrapolate for 2010. So let me hide this table, give us a little more room. Now our two points then are um, 1982 and 10.9, just making sure I have those in the right order there, right x and y, and then 1988 and 10.5. So now we need to find our slope. So our slope is change in y over change in x. So if we subtract our y's and subtract our x's, we get negative 0.4 over 6, which reduces to negative 0.067. So negative 0.067 then is our m. And we can take that m and one of our points, and we'll use the 1988 10.5 and figure out our b. So we have 10.5 in place of y is equal to negative 0 0.067 times x, which is 1988, plus b. Solve this, do the math, and we come up with 143.7 equals b. So now we have our b and we have our m, so we can write our equation. Sorry, I covered up my one there. So our equation then is y equals negative 0.067x plus 143.7. So now we can take this information. What we really want to do is find out the year 2010. So we'll plug 2010 in for x, and we'll get y equals negative 0.067 times 2010 plus 143.7. Do the math and we get y equals 9.03 seconds. Now we can see 9.03 seconds is uh, a little over a second, like 1.2 seconds less. So down by 1. Point, and actually it's more than that, 1.5 seconds. Down by almost 1.5 seconds. And to reduce by 1.5 seconds has taken from 1930 to 1988, or 60 years before. And now we're assuming, based on our data, that we did the same thing in 12 years? I'm not quite sure that's accurate. And in real life, this information here, uh, these two, this last time in particular here, uh, Florence Griffith joined there were some questions about that, um, about whether or not that was an accurate time. And it may have been. Um, and it may be that at some point we'll get down to this time. But 9.03 is probably not a particularly good estimate. Um, it would probably have been better to find an overall if we were to look at our, our graph here uh, once more to actually have extrapolated from clear back over here to go on down and figure out what our our final time in 2010 would have been. So it may have been a little bit more of an accurate guess than if we'd done it that way.